Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another brow video. <laughs> but it's different today because I will be showing you how to groom, um, wax, and tint your eyebrows right at home. Save yourself some coin. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get started. All right, so this is how I do mine. This is how I do it on my clients as well. This is just my method. Like I always say, you know, you can do it your way. This is my way. This is what I'm doing. You ain't got to do it. But you're here so clearly you want to know how I do it. All right, so we're starting off with just um, clean, dry skin. Like so. Nothing. Nothing major. Everything's dry. That's the main point that I want to make, y'all. Make sure that you are super dry before you start doing this process. So I'm gonna be using hard wax to clean up my brow. So I like my brow shape. I just want the tail lifted. So how I like to wax my brows when I wax them, I usually don't wax them. I actually usually just um arch them a little bit, take the tails off and just leave as much hair like right in here as I can. But for the purposes of this video and because I got a lot of stuff going on this week, I need them waxed because I ain't trying to touch them back up because I just ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? But you are more than welcome to grab your handy dandy eyebrow arches and do it. I recommend the Ardell ones. They're just sharper, if you ask me. And these are these are the cheapest, sharpest ones you can get. I think they're like $3, but you get three of them. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, because I'm just doing this on myself, I'm just going to take my um, brow pencils um, spoolie. If you're doing this on a client, you know, you want to grab a disposable spoolie. But, yeah. So we're gonna start off by brushing our brushing our brushing we're brushing our brows <laughs> by brushing our brows in a 90 degree angle. You want them standing straight up that way you can see what you are doing. Um, if you are new to doing your brows, then what you may want to do is go ahead and outline them in your normal like drawn on or desired shape, just so you, this brow will not go anywhere right here. Ugh, so stubborn. But anyway, yeah, you want to brush them up. If you're new to it or, you know, you're kind of, like, nervous about just freehanding it, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just, like, draw out your brow. You don't have to fill it in just so that you can see, like, where you're going. You know what I mean? Well, if not, you know, you can just go ahead and brush them out. Because cause I'm doing, I'm using hard wax, so... So when you're using hard wax, you can pretty much see where you're applying it at. So, you know, yeah. And I really like the front of my brows. Like I love all of this, the fullness, the hair that I like that. I just hate the ends. So, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and grab our wax. First things first, you want to test it. Make sure it's not too hot for you. So here we have it. Leave that there for a little bit. All right, and once you've tested the wax and it's not too hot for you, um, then you want to go ahead and proceed. Make sure you test it real good first, guys, because um, you don't want to burn yourself. And you don't want to apply it directly to your brow first either, just because, you know, if it's too hot, it'll mess you up. So, yeah. All right, so I like to go ahead and start at the bottom of my brow, just creating, like, um, the same line I would as if I was filling it in, you know what I mean? And you want to apply it with the growth of your hair, and then you're going to remove it against the growth of your hair. So we're going to do the front half, then we're going to do the back half, then we're going to do the top front half, then we're going to do the top back half, if that makes sense. So, yeah. And like I said, I really don't like removing any hair in the front, so this is really just to, you know, clean them up at the bottom. Um, so like I said, you could definitely just do an archer. You could just tweeze out any like flyaway hair that you have down here that you want to remove or however you want to do it. So if you're doing this on yourself, you want to, I just pulled the top of my forehead skin up and it just works, but you want to hold the skin tight. And I know you're thinking that it hurts, um, especially if you're new to waxing, but I mean, it's 2021. You shouldn't be new to waxing. Um, it doesn't really hurt that bad. And I have like super low pain tolerance. So. You just want to flick it forward a little bit, take a deep breath, and then pull, and then apply pressure. 
And I don't know about y'all, but after I ripped one, I just love looking at it. <laughs> it's just so satisfying to me. Like, can y'all see that? <laughs> I just like looking at it like, ooh, girl, you is a beast. <laughs> so much better already like you can already just like see how crisp is getting like good lord <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and do my unibrow before i go on to the end just because you know i got a little pieces up here and then same thing i'm gonna grab all of that skin make you a nice little piece to hold on to as tight as possible the the unibrow is always the hardest for me to hold like jesus i just feel like i'm slipping gotta get the brows right if you want to catch a man <laughs> you want to look like money your brows got to be dead so now we're gonna go ahead and do the back half of the brow or the lower back half of the brow All right, so we got our line as clean as virtually possible. Anything else, you know, I'm just going to take it off with some tweezers. Yeah. So that's like the basic arch of my brow. As you can see, it's like my brows go like that. So you can kind of like, you can kind of like see it. I don't know if you can, but I've been doing it for so long on myself. You know, you know what you're doing, but. You just want to go with like the bottom outline of your brow. If you're taking your tails off a little bit more, like maybe you can do it this way. Um, but yeah. Get a good grip on it. And one, two, three. All right. So I'm just going to take a little archer down here because I don't feel like tweezing. Just to take off that little hair right there that I missed. And we're good to go. Grab it again, hold it tight. One, two, three. So now that the edges are cleaned up, when I say the edges, like I mean, you know, like what we just did. So what I like to do is brush the hair completely downward, like all the way down, like as far down as they can go. And you see like these hairs right here. You see this, how it's like coming over the line of your clean brow, you see that? So you just want to take some brow scissors and I'm just going to trim those up because we don't want that. And that just gives you the perfect uniform length to your brow hair, okay? So now we're going to take our brush again, brush them back up. And same thing, you want to push them, this, this time when you're going upwards, you want to push them towards the inner part of your face. Just so you can see if there's any hair that's too long going upward. So I have a couple little sparse pieces back here that I'm going to trim up a little bit. Like that. Okay, so now that the base of my brows are as clean um, as I can get them, I am going to now... Go ahead and tip. <laughs> you want to go ahead? Let me check my nose. Make sure it ain't time to wax up there. Because y'all know it is pollen season. And once that pollen start really flying, it already is flying. Like my car is green. But you know, that shit can get up there. That ain't cute. All right. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just wiping my brows off with a little bit of alcohol. I know alcohol is like super hard to come by these days. So if you could just wipe them off with like witch hazel is also fine. Um, anything that's just really going to prep and dry the brows a little bit just so that you can get the most tint retention as possible. Okay, so you can go on with your favorite brow tint, um, or you can use like the Just For Me and Tint. Um, I've never tried that personally. I used to use Henna to tint my brows. I will attach that video below. But today I'm going in with my favorite. This is the Brow Code by Melanie Maris Brow Code Tint. And I'm using the Cream Oxidant, and then I'm using the colors Black and Natural Brown. 
um just because brown is too light and black is too black but also the good thing with these are the longer that you leave them on the darker they get and they last on your hair for and that's what i don't you know i honestly don't know how long they last on your hair <laughs> but they last on your skin for about mm, uh, about a week and a half so that's what i'm going to end with today So they do have a DIY um, henna kit on their um, on their um, website if you would rather use the henna. Um, it's totally up to you. And each each um, tint comes with the little applicator stick and then the tube. Now, of course, you do not need this whole tube of tint. Um, they are professional grade products, um, might I also add. And you can use them on your brows and also on your lashes. So you just want to take the cap and push it in to open it and i'm just gonna apply so i'm doing this in this clear coat so y'all can kind of like see what i'm doing so this is gonna be the black one and i'm doing equal parts of black and brown just so that you know i get like a nice little balance and so this is about how much black that i'm taking i don't know if y'all can see So basically just like a couple dabs of the black um, tint. And now, with, I just like using these little sticks to mix them up. I like to use an actual um, brow brush because it, like I said, it does tint the skin a little bit. So, you know, you want to have it how you want it basically. And I just feel like this is a great way to prevent you from doing like, um, there you go. You can see it better like this. So that's how much black I have. And then... We're doing equal parts brown so you can kind of like see that but yeah like a great way that you know you can get like those permanent not permanent but like semi-permanent brow fix without going out and getting microblading and you don't know if you'll like it yet um and then also sometimes i just feel like tense for some people and then the uh permanent makeup is for other people because you know it just depends on what you like so i'm doing about four to five drops of the this is the cream um oxidant you have to have the oxidant for you to be able to um mix them together otherwise it won't work so i'm actually gonna do six drops just to make sure i have enough and i just like the cream better than the liquid just because it makes a thicker it makes a thicker paste consistency so when you get ready to apply it it's easier to apply um yeah, it's easier to apply, to, in my opinion. So it looks like this. So you just want to go in and mix these thoroughly together. Keep your parts equal. That way, you know, you get a good mix. So you get a good consistency. And so looking at it, I'm going to add. So you can kind of like see what you're looking like. Um, So I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit more of each compartment. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit more black. So I'm going to do a dot more of the black. I'm going to do two dots, two, two more dots of the black um, tint and then one more dot of the brown. And then um, a couple more drops of the developer. All right, so this is what it looks like all mixed it up really well. All right, so I'm just taking a little cheap um, angle brush, like I said, to actually fill this in with. So I'm grabbing a Wet n Wild angle brush. These brushes are a dollar. So that's what I like to use and on my clients also. So you, know, you can just like throw it away. <laughs> Y'all already know how I feel. Throw that shit away. All right, so we're going to brush our hair just like we would if we were just filling in our bra. And I'm going to grab my tent here. Load it up on the brush. Same way if I was using like a pomade to fill my brow. Because that's kind of like the consistency of it that you get. Um, So yeah. And you want to make sure that your brush is nice and flat when you do this. Same way if you were filling in your brows with the pomade. So I'm going to start in the back. Now the only, I will say this before I get started. Because it's kind of hard for me to talk while I do it. Um, You want to kind of take it upward like this. Just so like your line is straighter versus trying to drag it across now i do feel like this way does work better for you when you do it like this you kind of just want to place it just to get your line there make sure that it's nice and straight and clean you know you want to take your time 
no rush <laughs> and just slowly apply it um like i said i'm starting in the back just because that's just like how i like to do it and you just want to tap into your product then i come up here and i just mash it into my brush you want to really saturate the skin and saturate the area for a better color payoff make sure that i'm in the frame Go ahead and create like the tail part just so that i can go ahead and see it so that's why you see me did it like that so you know once you get your baseline down it's pretty easy to just go back in and then fill in where you need to and then i'm still going to clean it up with a little bit of concealer that way you know it's done like it's, it's sharp it's clean because like i said this does stain the skin not only the hair And I'm feeling it the kind of the same way that I feel in my brows when I do them. So I'll take my bottom line further back than I do the um, top line. So the top line, I'm going to start it from about right here. And same thing, you kind of just want to like stamp it down like that. And then keep going versus this dragging it straight across. So this is like my shape. <laughs> so now we're just, once you get your outline done, it's really simple because now you just get to like pack the product in there. So now what I like to do, I just like to feather just a little bit slightly in the front. Um, I don't need too much in front because my hair is good up here. So, yeah, just to kind of like balance it out. All right, so I'm just going to take a little cotton bud and wipe the front. And just fade it a little bit more. Kind of like if this was your spoolie, how you would want to, you know, spool it clean a little bit more. All right, so now I'm going to go in and clean it up with the Maybelline Fit Me, as usual. Um, And I'm using this little Wet n Wild. It's a smoky liner brush, so it's like rounded. Just so the brows are extra crispy. All right, y'all, so this is the brows cleaned up, and I'm just going to let them sit on for about, about 10 more minutes because they have still been sitting on here. So, yeah, um, max activation time on it, though, is 12 minutes. So I'm just going to leave it and let it do what it does, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, so wish me luck. I'm going in to wipe it off, but I accidentally fell asleep. I went and I sat down. I don't know why I did that instead of just sitting up. But yeah, don't fall asleep when you do this. <laughs> it's honestly been like probably like 30 minutes. <laughs> um, so yeah, you just want to take a dry one and just wipe, firmly press. So wipe it all off. 
Now, I did want them to be darker because I got a lot of stuff going on, like I said. And they will lighten. And it also, um, it just helps them to last longer when you go in a little bit darker. So, yeah. They don't look, they don't look dark, though. Like, they look dark, but they look as dark as I wanted them to look, if that makes sense. So, the main thing that you want to keep in mind is just, like, don't get them wet for, like, a day or two if you really want them to, like, last, okay? Okay. train wreck so i'm just gonna take a makeup wipe now if you want to take an oil free makeup wipe might i add just in case you know get a little too close and i'm just gonna wipe off like all the excess like um concealer around here but i'm not gonna wipe the actual brow just like the skin around it Baby, it's the brows for me. It's the brows for me. Hopefully, they hurry up and fade quickly. All right, so because I want a more spiked up, fluffier look, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze on a spoolie. And this is just like the finishing touch. And I'm just going to spike my hair up. And there we are. So they will lighten up over the next couple of days and then like by day two and a half ish that'll be the color that they are they're still a little dark um <laughs> maybe i mix too much black and next time i'll do a little bit more brown i think that make sure that i had at first would have been perfect but i second guess myself but it's okay but yes guys this is the finished look um i really like these products also just so you know just like i'm not capping you know But yeah, guys, I hope that um, you learned something. Um, that way, you know, you can wake up looking cute. All you need is a lash, but you know, a bitch got a lash appointment in like two days. So it's good over here. <laughs> but thank y'all for tuning in to this video. And I will see y'all in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions about these products. Or just like the, the steps or anything like that in general. You can leave those out in the description box. And I will surely get back to you.